Hello YouTube, Matthew Williams here and just bringing you a little video to discuss what I did on the weekend and what a naughty boy I have been and um, always wanting to cause a little bit of controversy and always wanting to throw the cat a little bit amongst the pigeons in order to uh, in order to keep things uh, lively and interesting I decided to take the adventurous and perhaps uh, some people might think a little bit stupid step of um, doing something on the weekend. I gave a lecture down in Devon at the Weird Weekend which is in Wolf Hardisworthy, um, a little village and they have this, uh, this sort of uh, three day event, starts on Friday, finishes on Sunday and they have many speakers from all over the world talking about uh, cryptozoological matters, ghosts and the paranormal and UFOs, all sorts of strange and wonderful things. And uh, it's, it's quite a nice friendly sort of medium, medium sized event and uh, people tend to sort of spend the time camping there or they get local uh, bed and breakfast, that sort of thing. It's in the middle of nowhere so you know you, there's no hotels per se. But anyway I decided that um, I needed something to talk about and I've given my crop circle talk uh, probably two times now maybe even more I don't know because they keep they keep asking me to do these talks down there and I've kind of reached a bit of a plateau of what I can talk about I've talked about the Freemasons I've talked about RAF Rudlow Manor and the UFO stuff and I've talked about crop circles you know I've, so I've, I've done it all before and I was quite keen to have a new subject to talk about um, obviously crop circles comes to mind and I thought crop circles why don't I do something that I've not done before with crop circles why don't I do something that would be quite good uh, and keep people's attention you know really wake them up in the audience and make them think ooh so what I did is I gave them a world exclusive at the weird weekend and I revealed which circles I've done up to the year 2000 and that's pretty that's pretty unheard of in in crop circles um, you will probably find that I may be the only circle maker who has decided to do this up to this date and with doing it actually there is a risk that um, somebody could report this to the police um, but I'm kind of airing on the fact that prior to 2000 the crop circles that I would have done back then would have been kind of included in the case that I went to court with because I did ask for my previous things to be taken into consideration one of which was the basket weave formation but I could have thrown the whole lot in there but I, ju I just basically asked for other things to be taken into consideration so I think and I'm not certain but I think from a legal point of view I'm actually covered um, because all those previous circles have in fact been dealt with so with that in mind there was no real reason to stop me from discussing them other than the fact that it causes great uh, dismay and anger to the crop circle researchers that I would be discussing this with um, so I've named the circles um, not every single circle was named because I couldn't remember some of them and mostly the way I was working on which ones I'd known I'd done and which ones I'd not known I'd done was based on the photographs that I got from the internet now um, somebody I know has access to the crop circle connector archives and I looked there um, with this person and we picked out photos that uh, obviously I'd, I'd been part of and I also looked at Lucy Pringle's archive of photos and I took the photos from her site as well but there were many 
crop circles that I remember doing that weren't on the Crop Circle Connector website that I could see. They might have been on there. I might have, I might have skipped past them by mistake. And they didn't appear to be on Lucy Pringles either. Um, so there are some which I didn't actually put into the list. Now, I think there could be a potential of two crop circles that I did list that I might have got wrong. So, so I mean, basically, uh, I haven't counted it up, but I mean, I, I showed about 85 slides, and I think you could take off, you could probably take off about 10 or 15 of those slides as duplicates and explanation slides, i.e. me going into more detail. So there must have been, I should count them up, there must have been about 70 crop circles, 70 crop circles that I, I showed on there that um, I had a connection with. Oh, and also probably about 10, 10 crop circles you could take off the list because they weren't specifically my designs and my team, but they are good friends of mine who actually said, hey, throw those into the mix and tell them that they're man-made as well. And I said, okay, yeah, you know, if you're giving me permission to do that, I will tell these people that, that you, you want them to be known as man-made circles. Um, these people aren't necessarily coming forward as I have done um, to give their names, so they don't they don't seek arrest and prosecution in the same way as I did. Um, but like I say, I think I'm fairly well covered for the fact that uh, pre. Oh, that's weird. What was that? Something just fell off over there. Um, right, um, I'm pretty well covered. But anyway. Uh, I think this is going to cause a massive, massive stir in the crop circle community. And who knows? It might actually cause other circle makers to decide that it's time for them to maybe start claiming their formations. You know, maybe not, um, maybe not by name. Perhaps they'll decide to do it in some other way. Um, at least uh, being arrested has kind of afforded me the opportunity to do this. So, um, I'm not sure how other circle makers could approach it, but it does actually set the set a, a, a certain line now, which um, you know maybe other circle makers will want to uh, to step up to that line and sort of say what they've done and claim circles back in uh, a particular team's name or something like that, uh, just for the record. I don't know. They probably won't. Really, they probably won't. But uh, it would be kind of interesting if um, many years after the circles that have been done have been kind of accepted as being must be alien and all this sort of stuff, if the teams did actually sort of say like, well, this is team A and team A did that, 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 and we're team B and you don't know who we are, but we did this, 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 and Matt Williams, he's kind of a team and he's done all the ones he's named, but you actually know who he, who, who he is. And, you know, then we've got mystery circles. These are the mystery ones from we never knew who did them because we never met the people who did them, you know, and we could maybe map the, map the thing out. But I dare say that may not happen. But it may. You never know. We'll see how things go from me making this admission and see how things go from here. Obviously, there are going to be lots of crop circle researchers out there who are going to say, you didn't do them. And if they want to say that, they're more than welcome to say it, because I haven't really got any proof, i.e. video footage of me doing these things. I haven't got any video footage, and I don't have any... I don't have any, uh, you know... I don't have any proof that I made those circles. Um, I may have a design, which is in my pack of designs, but that doesn't mean I made the circle, it just means I've got a design. It's not proof that I made the circle, it's just have a design. And that could be argued that the design was in fact just a design made of a circle, not the construction design required to make the circle. But there you go. So, over to you, YouTube. Let's hear some comments about this and see what people say.